Hello, Arma 3 Desolation mod. Uh, it's a uh, Arma 2 DayZ for Arma 3. Um, I make this video to show you how to get it up and running and get into a server so you can actually enjoy this mod. I had some trouble last night getting it to work and this is how I was able to get into a server. So hopefully this will help you. On the website they have files you can download and a launcher you can get. I didn't do any of that. I went to the Steam Workshop right here and I downloaded it this way. This was the easiest way for me. I subscribed to the mod and all these mods here. Now it, they did update it because last night they had a couple of extra mods that were actually keeping me from getting into the server. It looks like they took them off so you should have a little less of a headache than I did. Make sure you read this and follow the instructions. The big part is while downloading, do not open or play Arma 3 as it will corrupt the files. So subscribe to all this and then you'll see on your download page in Steam that it's downloading. Uh, it may take a while. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it may take a while uh, for it to download. That's fine. You know, it's all going to depend on your internet speed. Uh, but let it download and then after all that's downloaded, you're going to start the Arma 3 launcher. And you'll see here Right now it's going to check for updates, but these are the mods right here. And you'll see at the bottom it'll be working, it'll be downloading. You're going to download all these. These are the extra two I had that made it not work. So if you downloaded it before today, which today is the 13th, if you downloaded it before that, you may have had these and you're wondering, you know, I keep getting session loss, I keep getting kicked out, I can't get into one. Maybe this will help you. Uh, don't install these two. Install these. Go in and play and make sure you download the stuff off the workshop first before you get this launcher going download that stuff first it'll just keep you from having a lot of headaches and like I said it's going to depend on your internet speed of how long that goes it took me I want to say about 45 minutes to an hour to get all of these downloaded and get everything up and going and arm is going to load here and it was pretty fun. I, I had a, a short experience on there. Uh, I died right away because I typically do. Saw a guy and I, I tried to be friendly with him and he shot me right in the face. But hey, that's my fault. Why well, try to be friendly in games like this, right? And I'll put some footage at the end of this. You, know, you can laugh at me dying. And while this is loading, oh, you will get this this area here. Don't worry about it. No big deal. Go to multiplayer. Now, I couldn't find it just by searching, by going down here to filter. Go to remote. And the address. You will find it right here. If you come down here, you'll see in the description these are the servers they have and of course you're gonna play based on you know where you're at obviously America uh, EU all that good stuff so you'll see the IP address here you're gonna to want to type that in and then the port as I did here click OK you'll see it pop up uh, one of these is first person hardcore only they have servers with third person, but I, I picked this one right here. Let this load up and you're in. And you would just pick a spot, receive the mission file. Uh, as far as performance goes, it is going to vary depending on your PC, of course. Arma is very heavy on the processor. So if you have an AMD processor, you're not going to get very good frames. But if you've played Arma for a little bit of time and you have an AMD processor, you're used to it. If you have an Intel processor, you're good to go. Uh, the only problems I noticed was uh, 
loot floating. I don't know if they fixed that yet or not. I haven't really gone in depth and played today. I just wanted to make this real quick, show you how to get in. You will get these right here. Don't worry about it. Just close all and the game will load up for you. It's kind of cool. It starts off a little bit like Daisy in the beginning. As far as your, your menu. You can see my character right here. And he's slowly sliding off the screen because he's going to go play without me. But you can customize your character. Uh, when I tried to do it last night, it was dark, so I couldn't see my character. And I was just clicking the buttons, so I had no idea how I started. But you just click continue game, and you're in. I logged out here, but yeah, you can see. This is, this is a game. And it's pretty much exactly like Daisy. The map's the same that I've found so far. But uh, hopefully this helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. And uh, thanks for watching. Random frame raindrop. Helicopter rotor? Yeah, I got one of those. That was the first I thing I found. I don't think I'm going to pick it up. It's huge. It looks like it would take up a ton of space. I picked it up. So far, it's not like Daisy like that. Yeah, like exactly. It's but I mean. It's more, more like Arma 3. So you got like the carry all backpack and it can only hold so much shit. I have a U.S. assault pack. Alien Hello. assault pack. How are you, sir? Oh, you killed me. I was trying to be friendly, man. We couldn't be friends? Why?